mathematicians. Today we're going to see how fractions are really the same thing as division by looking at some word problems. So my friend Selena is having a birthday party and of course she wants to invite her besties Katie, Taylor, and Demi. And OMG Selena has three birthday cakes. But how's that gonna work? Three birthday cakes for four people? Duh! We will each get a fraction of the total amount of cake. Selena can divide three cakes into equal parts so that everyone gets some of each. Ugh. So if there are four friends sharing three cakes, we need to divide the cake so that each person gets an equal amount, which means we will end up with a fraction that's going to represent the amount of cake each friend gets. By dividing the cakes, we are making fractions. Step one is to split the object that is being shared. In this case, it's the three cakes, and we're going to split it by the number of people who are sharing it, the four friends. I drew blue lines on each cake to show how to split it into four parts for the four friends. Step two is to give a piece of the object, the cakes, to each friend. I'm going to start with an S for Selena, and I'm marking an S on each piece that I'm giving to her. Next, I'm using a T for Taylor to show each piece that Taylor is going to get. And I'll do the same with D for Demi for her pieces. And finally, I have a K for Katie to give her the last pieces. Notice that everybody has an equal share of all three cakes. I've divided the three cakes by the four friends. My last step is to figure out how much of the object, or the cake, each person gets. In this case, each person ends up with three pieces of cake. Oh, here's a really easy way to think about it. We are dividing the number of things being shared by the number of people who are sharing it because that fraction bar is the same as division. I took three cakes and divided them by four friends, so I end up with the fraction three over four. Oh no! Justin and Usher show up with another cake. Now there are four cakes that need to be divided among six people. So I'm going to divide the number of cakes by the number of people sharing them. Here's my picture that shows the four cakes divided into equal parts so that all six people can equally share the cakes. Let's look at Katie's share. We cut the cake into six pieces because there are six friends all sharing the four cakes. The fraction I'm using to represent this is four over six, which is the same as four divided by six. Let's make sure you got it. I have 10 pieces of candy I want to give to my friends in one direction. If there are five singers in one direction, which fraction represents the amount of candy each singer should receive? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own first. Let's see how you did. Step one is to split the object that is being shared, in this case the candy, by the number of people sharing it. Ten pieces of candy are being shared by five people. Step two, did you draw a picture to help you see how much candy each singer should get? And in step three, we want to determine the fraction that shows how much each person will get. I'm dividing the number of things being shared, the ten pieces of candy, by the number of people sharing it, the five singers. So you should end up with a fraction of ten over five, or ten divided by five. And I can see that each singer gets two pieces of candy. So what did we just learn in this video? That fractions are just another way to think about division. Right, Katie? <laughs>